Now we are going to give you guys a game, start from the close guard for the open guard. That is a variation of the scissor sweep that open a lack of uh, sweeps, submissions, and a variety of crossing the arm and a lot of choice that you have and also keep you protect from let the guy start the action and escape and pass your guard. So the thing that we want here is make sure that we're gonna start the action before he start to select the pass that he wanna try. And also it's gonna be hard for him because he's gonna have his arm trapped and crossed. So he's, you're gonna have the time that you need to start to go for the sweep. First of all is our variation from the scissor sweep. Okay, I start from the close guard and now I want to open my guard, but I don't want to take advantage and already start to process the pass of the guard. I, I have seen a lot of people start to open the guard like this, and also the guy in the top already start to pass, already start to push, already, and then we miss the start of the position. So what I want you, you guys to do it <clears throat> when I open the guard, first thing guys, when you guys are going to turn a little bit, when you guys are going to open the guard, the first knee that has to move is here. I'm going to you guys grab it here, and now the knee comes in the middle, because that's the knee that's going to block him. Note that he's blocking him on the top, I cross his grip, and my feet is already on the other side. Don't let him go into the back. Move it. I'm here. So I have the control of the situation here. And I can apply for a different kind of options here. So I'm here. You cross the grip. That's the first thing. Cross grip. You scoop your hips to the side. And knee up. That's the first thing. What's gonna happen now? I'm in front of him. It's not a good angle for start my action. So actually what I do, I start to move around in order. You see how he's already kind of turned? And then when he start to put away on, he start to regress for the original position, I just kick on his leg and I'm gonna flip him with the other. So in, in order to do that, I just gonna kick and pull the arm at the same time. What's gonna happen, I'm gonna end up in a mount situation. So I'm here, stay here, keep connect. Look, now I don't have angle, it's still heavy. That's why I move to the side. I want to give him to the side. And now if he tries to back to the original back there, my leg is already trapping him. My leg is forcing him. That's why I have the angle to kick and finish here in the situation. But Note that the first leg to do the action is my left one. That's the one that's going to step on the ground. That's what gonna allow me to scoop my hips and back with the knee. Okay? I'm here, look, I'm still in front of him. I don't wanna be here. So I start to move, start to move, and he start to follow. When he start to follow, that's what I want. That's my sweep. That's my sweep when he starts to come back to the action. Note that. I step, scoot my hips, knee up. I hold it. Look, I'm totally crossed, but I'm still in front. I don't want to be here in the front. So you guys scoot the hips a little bit more and keep it. Now he's going to put the weight. When he put the weight, that's what he wants. Keep the knee in the bottom and just shut the leg to finish probably in the mountain position. 